course super important for skiing and snowboarding because it's a long day on the slopes uh, and if you're there for a week or two you want to make sure you can hold your shape over the course of the time. Once your core starts to get fatigued you start to slump over and everything's a lot harder work. Also the stronger your core is the more it supports your lower back and the last thing you want to do is have your, your trip cut short because of a lower back injury. Uh, first core exercise is full sit-ups and these are the strongest of the the core exercises because you do have the whole of your upper body load on your core while it's under contraction as well. It's best done nice and smoothly both ways, roll up vertebra by vertebra, get a good contraction at the top and make sure you bring yourself back to the ground nice and slowly. The next one's oblique crunches. Now these are the ones that cause you to twist and turn. And so what we're trying to do is reach around the side of your body, touch the calves, and you're trying to get your ribs closer to your hips on the side of your body for this to be effective. Uh, the third one's reverse crunches, which is, targets the lower part of the abdominals. So the abdominals are the only muscle that contracts from both ends, so you want to make sure that they, they do. What we do here, we're just trying to roll onto your lower back with your feet in the air and just nudge your hips slightly up off the ground. It's really important. It's a nice, slow, controlled movement. You don't want to be throwing your legs around too much.